here's a really quick little lesson on how to form Greek future infinitives. Uh, and particularly, uh, they're going to, I'm only going to focus on the active voice and the middle voice. Because just like the future middle, it's not the same as the passive. That's from a completely different stem. We won't worry about that right now. Uh, now the basic, uh, if we were translating the Greek future, and it's not used very often, but it would translate literally into something like to be about to uh, free, or to be about to be freed, in the, uh, or to be, a, to be about to ransom in the middle. So it's a little uh, clunky, but you'll find that it's used as complements to particular verbs, especially something like mellow, which really means to be about to, to be on the verge of. So uh, the basic rule is we're going to take that second principal part, or present stem plus sigma, and add the ending. Our regular old infinitive endings that we've already grown uh, accustomed to in the present tense. So for luo, we're going to take our second principal part, or our stem plus sigma, and add ein, lusain. This would be active. And in the middle, same stem, but esthai, lusisthai. For poieo, we're going to take our stem, our second principal part, poies, and add our ain, poiesein. And for the middle, we've got our second principal part, poies, and our primary infinitive middle ending, esthai, poiesesthai. That's all there is to it. So just like the indicatives, the future looks exactly like the present, but it has a different stem, oftentimes marked with the sigma.